graduates of the United States Military Academy assemble for their first graduation of World War II. Solemn and impressive is the ceremony as the youngsters receive their commissions. Today, as second lieutenants, they are ordered immediately to their regiments. For the first time in all the 140-year tradition of West Point, cadets go directly into the Air Corps. More than half the class electing to try for their wings. Its maximum wartime strength increased, the Corps has representation from every state in the Union, from the territories and from Central and South America. Gone is the light-hearted, carefree spirit of peacetime graduation. Addressing this final assembly of their cadet days, the United States Chief of Staff, General George Marshall, forecast the role American troops are destined to play abroad. We have our men all through the Pacific, in Burma, India, and in China. Recently, they struck at Tokyo. They are, have wooded in Greenland and in Iceland. They are landing in Ireland and in England, and they will land in France. Final regimental parade. Those who remain behind pass in review before the class of 1942, marching in perfect formation, row upon row. The cream of America's young manhood, dedicated to honor and protect those things for which America stands, freedom and democracy. Thank you.